months after Francis Ngannou almost shocked the world against Tyson Fury, now faces the former two-time heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua in a 10-round. I will be victorious. I have my own legacy, my own chapter, my own destiny that's destined by God. That March date was the weekend. Joshua and Deontay Wilder initially signed to fight one another. That ended up getting nixed after Wilder lost his fight against Joseph Parker. Once again, Gano finds himself poised as a heavy underdog in the contest, with Joshua set as high as a 5-1 to one favorite on some sports books. But the Predator, as always, remains undeterred. The hype on this fight is real. Fans are still prisoners of many moments from the last fight, knocking the WBC heavyweight champion down, shocking the crowd and those watching at home. Ngano has lost via a split decision, but earned a massive payday and respect from those in boxing. Currently ranked as a top 10 heavyweight boxer in the world by the WBC. On the other hand, Joshua is currently ranked number three, two-time unified heavyweight champion, but hasn't held gold since Oleksandr Usyk beat him in 2021. Now he is on a three-fight win streak, with all three wins coming in 2023. On their basic stats, AJ is younger, taller, and with 27 wins from 30 fight, 24 wins via knockout. Francis is older with three years, shorter with two inches, but have a longer reach with 83 inches. Looking at the style of both fighters, many fight fans can be quick to discard Joshua's ability at times for being a one-trick pony or bodybuilder who boxes. But his simplicity and correct boxing fundamentals for his style that has got him to boxing stardom, the typical boxer-puncher style where he takes advantage of his size and athletic ability to take out his opponents while using simplicity at the heart of it. As Lao Tzu says, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Strong and solid jab to help set up his power shots, his most underrated weapons and key. A tight defense with his right hand close to his chin to defend against hooks while bobbing in and out or circling round to create distance from his opponent. My one criticism would probably be his lack of upper body head movement, but he excels in the other areas to use his size and reach to his advantage instead. AJ does have a mean streak when it comes to finishing off his opponent and will tend to pounce on them once hurt by throwing right hand straights, uppercuts and hooks to take them out. It's not a disrespect to AJ. I don't believe that AJ would take what Tyson. Tyson you don't think AJ is resilient? You don't think AJ has a chin? As much as Tyson. Well, who hasn't knocked Tyson down? Mm -hmm. While Francis made a comfortable transition into boxing, his style isn't trusted to be stable or repetitive. He said that he will not fall to the trap of trying to finish his opponent. But I think it is out of his hands. Once you have the record of the powerful punch in the world, KO is the first thing that comes to your mind. On his last fight, he neutralized Tyson Fury for large stretches of their high-profile showdown by fighting as a lefty, which shows that his preparation for the boxing fights are being taken seriously. The weak points on Francis is the fact that he's slow. His footwork isn't that sharp at that moment. It doesn't help to bringing up back feet with him, so his backhand come up short. Fluidity is a serious matter for Engano. He's now 37, had a knee surgery to repair torn MCL and damaged ACL. But Francis has the sort of backstory boxing fans loves. He worked in a quarry from the age of 10 and spent time in jail in Paris before finding work as a bouncer and then entering the world of MMA. Joshua, a former world champion, hoping for a destructive showing against Naganu, will lead him to a long-awaited showdown with Tyson Fury. If you still don't understand the 10-point must system, I advise you to watch our video explaining it in the channel. 
The match between the two will certainly will sell. It will take place in the Kingdom Arena in Saudi Arabia. It can hold up to 26k people. It will be a Friday night fight due to the Formula One Saudi Arabian Grand Prix taking place over the subsequent weekend. As for betting odds, Anthony Joshua is the minus 400 favorite, while Francis Ngannou is the plus 300 underdog. On March 8th, the, we will see if these odds are realistic.